Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope, and today we're diving into a game that I probably don't need to introduce. Um, in fact, you probably clicked on this video because you've been following along with Tapestry and its, uh, its remarkable launch over Tappy, the past. Tappy what? Tap yeah. Are Tappy? you not familiar? Well, it's, it's by no. Stonemaier Games. They've had a few successes recently. Uh, Wingspan? Who? Have you heard of Wingspan? No. Not what, familiar what, what's, yeah. a, what's, what's Scythe a Wingspan? Scythe was one like back in the day that was Scythe. pretty big. I'm, it's it's <laughs> not like positioned in a prominent spot on my oh, shelf. Oh, of course not. At what all. are you talking about? Uh, so we are, we are jumping into Tapestry. Uh, we're excited to bring some gameplay here. I'm going to let Jan uh, introduce this game to you because this is actually his copy. Uh, he was obsessive enough to pre-order it immediately and got it in like two or three days ago. Yeah, yeah. Got I got, I got, I got pumped. Before I, before I throw it over to him, just so you know, if you've been following along in the channel and you've seen Jan pop in for a gameplay or two where he's lost dramatically in the past. Okay, come on, that's not. Jan is now the the official lead writer for Quackalope, so we will be producing uh, some in-depth articles, some overview. Yep. Uh, hopefully cleaning up my grammar on social media posts from time to time. A lot to time. of work in that department, I gotta say. So all that <laughs> means is, is basically keep an eye out for some well-written articles, and if you see any mistakes from posts that I certainly didn't make, you can just blame him from now on. He's become my scapegoat huh? for all, all like punctuation no, errors. No, But we have some things in the works. You're, you're gonna be doing some, some cool stuff on the channel. So uh, I'm gonna let Jan tell you a little bit about his copy of Tapestry. Welcome everyone to building your very own civilization in what is essentially one of the most straightforward and shortest civilization games that you could possibly get. Um, in our honest opinion, uh, we feel that this does pretty well in conveying that feeling of progression. Yeah. However, it is it is mostly abstract. This isn't a Civ game in like you're, you're thinking of like Civilization, the video game that I grew up playing. This isn't that. No. It thematically. Yes. Like it, it feels that way. And your sense of your comment, sense of progression, I think is accurate. Mm -hmm. The, the tree, the like resource development, the, the sense of growth is there in a abstract kind of point salad type of way, mm -hmm. right? You're mostly playing things to generate points more and more and more and more as you play the game. Yeah, and if you've been following us on social media, I kind of really dig that. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a very interesting way of approaching the genre, mm -hmm. as to say. Um, and I've always been a fan of abstract, so this is essentially to me one of the most thematic abstract games that mm -hmm. I've played in a while, and I enjoy that. I think it's really good. Um, and like I said, it does capture well that Civ feeling mm -hmm. without being a heavy Civ game. This this immediately became a game that you wanted to get to the table as quickly as possible. Yeah. I, I have played it once before now. I didn't do very well. I stuck to one specific strategy that fit my civilization card really well and did it did that really well and ended up with like half the points of what you and another friend playing this game had. Uh, I really like it. I'm ready to play it again. I'm not quite sold on the civ element of it. Mm -hmm. I'm sold on the abstract kind of progression element of it. It's like, to me, it's more about that th the thematics of mm -hmm. being a Civ game, you know, in, in the term of what you're doing. Yeah, and everything's, everything's slightly asymmetrical. Like, we're playing on the mm -hmm. same board, we're playing the same win conditions, but, uh, you know, the civilization I'm playing right now and you're playing are different from the ones we've played before. Mm -hmm. The way we're progressing, the maps that we're developing, like all of that is a little personal. So it's kind of a solo puzzle with a little bit of player interaction. Yeah, and you know, and let's talk a little bit about how it works, can, right? Yeah, can you point out like what people are seeing on the map, how, how this gameplay is gonna progress? Um, yeah. Give a overview and then we'll swing into the game so people yeah. can see. So that I can beat you mm. in ca on camera. We'll see, for proof, I'm gonna have to win like <laughs> really well this I time. I won the last one, just letting you know. There's no recording of it. Darn it, it's true. <laughs> so, essentially the way that this is gonna work is that you get to do one of two things on your turn. It's that straightforward. You will either advance on one of these four tracks of technology mm -hmm. of progression of evolution in your society's knowledge. So we have exploration, mm -hmm. science, Yep. Military mm -hmm. and technology. Yeah, pretty standard civ mm -hmm. tracks, right? Yeah, okay And so you'll decide to move up one of those tracks gaining the benefits that's mm -hmm. on the space 
or you pass. And when you pass, very a la Everdell, okay. you'll essentially just generate an income phase. And in that income phase, you'll gain whatever is currently showing on your player board. So one of the things that this game does is that you're gonna have multiple layers of game going on in different areas. I could be in a different era than you're in. Mm -hmm. like, and my game could round off if I don't manage my resources or play them quite as efficiently earlier than yours does. And that's true for larger games as well. Like, I think I was probably six turns ahead of all of you. Yeah. On the last, which you, probably- You were speedy. Which probably resulted in less victory <laughs> points. Now, an important thing here on these tracks, the move up mechanic's really simple. You have resources down here at the bottom mm -hmm. that you'll be gaining during the like refresh phase. You, uh, you spend whatever this top area indicates and you move your cube up and result whatever kind of the tile that you move to uh, declares. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's a really simple, the symbols can feel like a lot. When you first taught us the oh, game, yeah. it felt like there was a lot of things to learn. Once you know what they mean, they're really, really clear. It's really easy to see exactly what I'm moving to, exactly how much it costs and what I'm gonna get as mm -hmm. a result of that. It probably took two rounds into the game for us to be have a good sense of all of that. Yeah. Okay. What else is going on on the board here? So there's, as we mentioned, there's different things that are kind of interweaving themselves into a complete game, mm -hmm. right? So one of the main things is that you're also gonna have a map. They're gonna be able to explore. You're gonna be able to expand your civilization across this very small rendition of Earth, right? Mm -hmm. And as you do that, you're gonna be able to move into those areas. You're gonna be able to collect resources and you're gonna be able to eventually, you know, maybe make it and say hi to your friends on the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. So we have our development track. Mm -hmm. We have a very simplified sort of exploration mechanic here in the center with a tiny bit of like territory control and conquering. What's going on on the edges here? Um, we've got our player boards and then we've got all these lovely miniatures. Yeah, so this is another mechanic in the game. So you have two things here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have your basic economy. Okay. Your economy is gonna be dictated by the resources that you've already pointed out that are gonna be on the bottom of your board. And okay. in addition to that, these economy buildings. Mm -hmm. So these buildings are quintessential for you to progress in the game. Because every time you lift one, you're gonna reveal something new. So for every building that you take off of your board, that's gonna be something you're gonna be able to take advantage of later in the game. During the next refresh phase. Mm -hmm. It's usually resources that you're getting more of, victory points that you're scoring multiple times, um, but it can have a big impact. Oh yeah, for sure. So when you take off these buildings, what do you do with them? So you start, as any civilization, on one point mm -hmm. in this world. Every time that you start the game, you're gonna choose what's called your capital city mat. In that capital city mat, you're essentially going to build out your city. Mm -hmm. So how do you build out your city? You're gonna move the buildings, depending on what track you're going to, onto any of these squares that do not have a red circle in them. And if you are bold enough, you might go up tracks and you might get some of those beautiful landmarks mm -hmm. that are all so prominently displayed here. And just a note on these, I mean, I always know what to expect from, from Stonemeyer games, like yeah. nice components, good production quality. These are nicer than the pictures seem to indicate. I also have that that yeah. worry, for yeah. sure. They're really pretty for, for, you know, they're hefty, they're nice solid plastic, mm -hmm. they don't feel cheap, and they've got enough detail for me to be fully satisfied. Oh yeah, like, and, and the, like the paint that they did, yeah. like everything just works for yeah. this. You know, they're not, they're not like what you get if you paid someone to professionally paint all of your scythe miniatures. Yeah, correct. But for a game like this, those are above kind of expectations. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. One, one thing, one sm like small gripe that I had is, uh, it's a little bit strange that all of these are divided into the four tracks, mm -hmm. but they're not color coded in any way that represents the track. So at the beginning, it was a little bit difficult, like figuring out where does which goes where, yeah, and stuff like that. So, but it's a very minor they're thing. They're more they're color coded based on technological age. Yes, not exactly. Based on what track you're going on. Mm -hmm. I can see how that could be confusing, but aesthetically, they look really nice. I think oh yeah, and probably especially going for... when you fill out the board. And once they lay out, if they were color coded, color coded based on track, you'd have a very similar looking board, possibly. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe it's a way to like make this come alive as a city. Here and combined with our board, we have like a resource management and a light or, or abstract engine builder. Yeah. In the center here, we have a very simplified exploration and territory control yeah. sort of element. And then on the side here, we have a spatial awareness puzzle. Yes. That's unlocking kind of some resources and some victory points throughout the course yeah. of the game. How does this all tie together? Ah, that is going to be through the careful planning okay. of players yeah. and through the use of tapestry cards. Mm. So tapestry cards and civilization uh, mats are also are super important in the game. Depending on what you play, they're going to define where you go because if you start looking at this from a more, um, from with a little bit more distance, you'll start noticing that this kind of feels like a sandbox game, mm. like a s abstract sandbox, and that's pretty cool. Like if I go into a, a Civ game or a Civ theme game, I'm hoping that they give me the liberty of doing what I want. These civilization cards are extremely important to give you some sense of direction mm -hmm. at the beginning of the game because they're going to give they're in order for you to really maximize what you're doing here, which is at the end of the day, what you do in engine builders, mm -hmm. you're trying to create something efficient, you need some type of end goal. So the Civ cards are what sets the stage for your kind of end win condition in a yeah. way. And tapestry cards are what build out how your civilization develops. Yep. The other modifiers that come into play for every season or every era or every round. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and I'll dive into my nomads to talk to about what they're going to see in gameplay. And then I'll have you do the same for your uh, heralds. Oh yeah, I'd love to. All right. So the nomads prefer to expand their civilization outward rather than focusing on their capital city. Whenever you gain a building or landmark, you may place it either in your capital city or on the map in one of two locations. On a territory I control, containing one other, one other piece of my playing piece, or on an adjacent empty territory where you can still come through and take it over. Mm -hmm. uh, I gain victory points for buildings, whether or not they're on the map or on the card. So, the difference for how I'm going to be playing this game in terms of gameplay, instead of just taking these buildings and placing them over here on this spatial puzzle, I will actually be able to use these buildings, just like my pillars here, as indicators for territories I control. That's important because I want to expand as much as I can. I want to kind of explore the world. Uh, and it changes the way I play because controlling more territories can result in scoring high n higher numbers down here on the board. Um, for me, the game is going to re revolve around focusing sort of on the exploration and a little bit on the military track yeah. and maximizing how I use those two tracks. And, and that could be to, to the detriment of the game. You know, like once you pick out a direction, you, you have to stick to it. If you have, if you there's, want to win at all, there's no way for me, it. there's very little way for me to compete by focusing on science, for instance, because mm -hmm. my sieve just doesn't match up with science. Yeah, exactly. So, now talk about your, your, your heralds. What so, do they do? so the heralds are kind of completely different too. And that's a, a pretty great thing that I consider mm -hmm. like all, all, all the civilizations here feel completely different. So the Heralds, they're going to take advantage of tapestry cards. Okay. So usually tapestry cards are like a one-time effect and they're extremely powerful and you just get to do them for that single era. instance. That era. Right? Um, however, the Heralds, they're able to reactivate mm -hmm. tapestry cards whenever these cubes are placed and I can even reactivate yours. Okay, interesting. Keep in mind that I can only do that for tapestry cards that have the when played. Okay. And, but those win played abilities are, are can be pretty powerful in a moment. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and find like one of them so you can talk about what would happen if you played it. So let's do these two here. For instance, give some examples. So for example, the Coal Baron here has a when played ability. It says we're gonna gain an exploration tile and we can immediately explore it. Your neighbors then each gain an exploration card. Yeah. So in a future round, I could just go ahead and place that there and I would get to reactivate that again. Mm -hmm. Which would give you a tile, allow you to place it on the map, and give you the resource that's on top of that tile. Yep. That could be big if he's scoring how many exploration tiles he's either owned, he's placed, or it could be big if like he just needs one more resource in order to continue his turn and get an extra move or an extra cycle before the next era starts. Yep. Um, and what's this one here, trap? So, so trap cards are 
you different make, context. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They, so they work in two ways. So either you play a trap card for 10 points, so that would mean that my faction, my civilization, could get a potential 20 points to just one card. Because you could reactivate it potentially, yeah. And the other effect, and this wouldn't come into play with my faction specifically, but trap cards can be used to counteract an invasion. If we're going head to head, mm -hmm. um, there's not big war mechanics or anything like that. It's just if I go to explore a space that you've been in, uh, I can take it over and knock yours to the side. Yeah, and, and we're, we're going to go into all this stuff as we play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this isn't a how to play video, but we'll do our no. best to kind of explain what we're doing as we go. No, and, and I, speaking of, I think we should probably I think start. we're about to that point. So for everyone <laughs> that just skipped to this point in the video. Yeah, I, I, know, I, that, that would be me. The section down below that says, like, get to the gameplay, and it's like four <laughs> and a half minutes in. Yeah. yeah that would be you. Yo. Yeah, oh. Immediately. Hey, thank you for joining us. If you're just checking in, we're Quackalope Jan. He's the lead writer for the channel. We're going to be diving into Tapestry, which has had a lot of buzz recently. You're probably already familiar with it. That being said, if you're here at this moment, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It allows us to do more content like this. Yeah. Like, genuinely, it can be annoying to have a subscribe push at the beginning of the video, um, but the channel is growing, and the more eyes we have on us, the more opportunities we have to bring games like Tapestry uh, to kind of people out there on the interwebs. So if you like what we're doing, subscribe, hit the bell, and if you're already subscribed, share it with a friend. Please. That wouldn't be bad. That'd be, be awesome. Whatever be the case, awesome. let's go ahead and dive in. Who starts? I'm gonna start. Do it. Can I? I suppose. Pretty please? I feel like I should. Okay, so that. technically, none of us are gonna start until we have. We're cycling the first era. Our income turn. Okay. Right? So the first thing that we do is that we would go through each one of these different steps. Mm -hmm. And it's divided into one, two, three, and four. Touch How base on those one, two, three, and four steps. So the first thing we do is that if you have a civilization that you can activate, mm -hmm. you'd activate them. Okay. Then you'd play a tapestry card. After that, you would be able to evolve your technology trees, which is something we haven't touched on, but we'll get to that eventually. It's fine. We'll also score all the points that are available on our boards, which at the moment are not a lot. Mm -hmm. We probably we wouldn't get any points right now. And then event and then we would go into our income phase. So for every symbol that's showing on your player board, you're going to get that resource immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for example, if we go from the very top, for both of us, we're gonna get our markets. So I would gain one market, you'd gain one. Then we move to houses. Houses, we would gain one worker or one person it's or one it's, labor. It's farms. Mm -hmm. it's farms. Then we move over to farms. So oh. we get one food. Yep. And finally, we go over to our armories and we get one military power. Yep. But you'll also notice that right next to those, you're going to have an exploration tile. Next to the farms. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'd also get one tapestry card. Correct. And so, special thing about my particular player board. I forgot to shuffle those. Oh, you did. Hmm. You might want to You might wanna shuffle that. Well, I got the trap, so I figured, <laughs> I figured you would call... Uh, You'd call cheating on that. Yeah. Okay. So, because of my particular civilization, I actually get to play this immediately. <laughs> well then. So, I am a meritocracy. When played, I can invent one technology card, then gain two points for each of your technology cards. I don't like how this is starting. I, I love it. Okay. I, I feel like I'm a herald at heart. <laughs> I've always been a herald. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little guy right here. Does this refill now? Yes, it does immediately. Right. So what's the what's the card you took here? So I took concrete. Okay. So I'm gonna be making some sweet, sweet buildings okay. very soon. And since we're here and we didn't explain it, explain how those are gonna work since you have them. Yeah, so technology cards essentially are advancements that your civilization is discovering mm -hmm. as things move along and as, as you progress your, your entire uh, culture. Mm -hmm. So throughout the game, whenever you go through the, tap, uh, through the technology track and you get that card, you'll be able to pick out of this lineup yeah. a single card and during your income phase, you're gonna be able to upgrade and evolve that technology in order to gain the benefits that are listed right there. In the circle, in the square, and mm -hmm. it's based on how far we've progressed. So the first level is always going to, you're always gonna be able to get to that middle tier. Yep. However, when you wanna to get to the square tier, you do need some requirements. Okay. And they're gonna be listed right there on your card. Level four, level four, farming. 
Yep. Now some of these say for three players. What does that no, mean? No, that is that actually means that anybody around you, either okay. your left or right player, if they achieve that particular requirement, you can go ahead and upgrade. Because gotcha. you're learning from the cultures that are near you. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh is that that's not your turn though. No, that's that was just, I haven't even that was just started. A tapestry and would you kindly move me up two points? Two points? Yeah. Alright. Oh, right. You're off to an early It's lead. beautiful, I love it. And remember, I can activate that again at any time. Okay. During an income phase, of course. I'm not happy about that. I'm stoked. All right, what are you That's doing? That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pay a market resource to go up the tech tree. Yeah? Yeah, thank okay. you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my favorite technology card, which is the lithium ion batteries. Why is that your favorite? So it's square effect, lets you activate any space that you're in again. Okay, that sounds pretty good. It is amazing, but it's difficult to achieve. See, it's a level four and explore, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I know you're going for, so. That's true. That'll work perfectly. Anyway, what would you do? So I'm gonna start off here on exploration, even though you okay. just took a card that all you want to uh, to exist. I'm gonna go ahead and go to scouting. I have to spend one resource, so I'm gonna move down my uh, my worker there, mm -hmm. and this will allow me to take two of these at random. I'm gonna go ahead and play. Hmm. Actually, no, not yet. I'm gonna play this, and I'm gonna follow suit. I'm also gonna explore and draw two more tiles. You're coming up there with me. Yeah. Let's see here. It's a big world. Question there's is... There's space for both of us. Probably not. Remember, there's also achievements, especially for you. What do you mean by achievements? So in the game of Tapestry, there's usually three achievements. I gotcha. Conquer, you... topple, yep. complete. So usually if whoever gets first to the middle island yep. will gain 10 points. Whoever topples two buildings of an opposing player will gain 10 points. And whoever reaches the end of a track first will get 10, 10 points. So for you, this conquering the middle island yeah. might be a good objective yeah. initially. I'm kind of looking, I'm looking here to see what I can place down because I am going to keep moving up this track. I'm going to spend my star this time to go up right here. This allows me to play a tile. Uh, and I will just play this. I'll play it like this for now. Yeah, and an important thing about placing tiles is that if you're able to match the type of terrain mm -hmm. on that tile, you're actually going to gain victory points. Yeah, and so this gains me, actually if I do it one more. There we it go. It gains me one, two, two and three. three, correct? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead and move myself up three there. And then I get to pay an extra resource to get one of these cards, another tapestry card. Yeah. Um, and you'll also and get... And I gain a resource for playing mm -hmm. that. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the resource I'm gaining to pick up another Tapestry okay. card here. I think that's good. I'm going to follow suit too. I don't know. I just, it just... Like, it feels good just being on the heels of all this awesome exploration to this beautiful world of ours, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to place this right here. Which also gains me three points. Thank you very much. Does it, gain you? it does gain you three, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> And I will gain another resource for that, thank you. And I'm okay. not going to pursue another tapestry card right no, now. You're mm -hmm. good at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and spend another single resource mm -hmm. to move up here. Now I could either play a house or a item. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's a big decision because I could actually take my house and play it as exactly an an exploration, which isn't a terrible thing to do. I am going to do just that. So I'm taking my house, I'm placing it there to claim that, and it is on to, for any of you watching that skipped the intro, that's because I'm the nomads. So it's a special ability that allows me to take these structures and actually play them on the game board instead of this little map kind of zoomed in board. And don't forget that every time you conquer, you're also going to play the dice. It gives me control, but it's not a conquer action. Okay. That's, that's important. That's a good clarity. Mm -hmm. It's considered an outpost if a opponent conquers it. So it is considered control, but it's not a conquer action. Got it. Okay. I wish it was. I know. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a conquer action. I just figured. to Just to show people how just it's to, really because, done. Yeah, to display how it actually works. So you're moving one forward. Yep. And now you get to play the dice. Mm-hmm. 
Mushroom Ooh. and a five. Ooh. You get to choose one of these two to take, either five victory points or a little bit of food. I'm going to take some food. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to follow right behind you here. Oh, I'm just no. I'm going to cycle, but... I'm going to move right here. Oh, no. I'm going to take a conquer. Since you so eloquently pointed out that there is victory conditions here, I'm going to go ahead and claim one of those. I'm going to play the dice. Five or... What does that stand for? That's a resource on the map. Yeah, so you wouldn't get it. But I'm not a resource on the map. Yep. So I just have to take the five victory points. So you get 15 points total. 15, yes, because... So I'm all the way up to 18, and that's because I claimed this. Do I put a mark on yes, this Yes, you do. So the first person to conquer the center gets 10. The second person gets five. Same with two topples and completing any of these advancement tracks. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. Hmm. You put me in quite a pickle here, Mr. Anderson. I'm so sorry. I feel mm. horrible about that. I bet you do. I bet <laughs> just, you really just do. Just the worst. Go ahead and move me up that military track. Oh, man. And I am paying two materials. So I'm going to get You're a- You're gonna get another card as well. Tapestry card. You get a tapestry card, and then you paid the second one for a building. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place this beauteous building right about here. Okay. okay. It comes to me. I have no more resources. And I don't have any either. So I pass, and then you pass. And passing in particular order is super important because that means that you will get a bonus. So I get a bonus resource for passing first. Yep. Um, it's sort of a catch-up mechanic because passing early is not the best, yeah. right? Um, so I'm gonna take my bonus resource. And then since we both have passed at the same stage, we can go through the the items yep. together. Now we're but ready to do it. To be specific, later on in the game, there's a chance that I will pass before your turn is over or before your, your era is over. Mm -hmm. In that case, we'd pause the game, I'd go through my era, and then we pick up with you sort of ahead of me in terms of like behind in the timeline. Like we said, I'll ever know, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and do this together since we're at this stage. We start with our civilization card. I don't have any powers that play during this period. You do. It's tricky. Um, it's tricky because if I activate this now, I get to activate another technology, which is mm -hmm. fine, but, but, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to gain the amount of points I could potentially gain from this. Sure. Like if I continue exploring more technologies, I could potentially get around 16 points versus just four. Sure. So. So is that a no? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say off. no. All right. Then we come to our uh, technology and our um, tableau or our, our uh, what are these tapestry cards? Mm -hmm. I don't have any technology. So go ahead and resolve yours. Well, actually the order is civilization and then tapestry. So tapestry first and then, yep. and then the, uh, the mm -hmm. tech cards. I'm going to play broker of peace. You cannot advance on the military track, but each time an opponent advances on the military track, I gain three victory points. That's pretty good. Hmm. I kind of almost wish that I would have drawn blind <laughs> for this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, because this does not really help out my civilization at all. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Alliance right now. So Alliance is. I'm gonna choose you, uh, and you cannot conquer my territory. Why choose me? I have no one else to choose. Seriously? <laughs> so we cannot conquer each other's territories so both, at all. We've both entered an era of peace. Yes. I like showed up and was and brokered the peace. And you're like, all right, well, you can't do anything to me either then. Yeah, let's form an yeah. alliance. Oh, Thank you, okay, sir. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now, whenever you upgrade your technologies, which again, you're not going to do. Of course I'm not going to do that. I would gain the benefit. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, it really is. This is like the worst tapestry card I could have gotten <laughs> for this particular moment in the game. Well, mine isn't that good either because you've now dis disincentivized yourself for going up the military track. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Well, anyways, so now we do get to go up our tracks. Yep. So I'm going to choose to upgrade my concrete. So that's going to let me place another building right here on my mat. Okay. And I'm 
going to go ahead and do this right here. All right, I do not have any tech to go up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start getting the resources here. Mm -hmm. So up here in- Well, before you do- What? We do have some victory points to score. That's what I was gonna say. Up here in markets, mm -hmm. I'd score a victory point for every card on my on my tableau. Every technology card on your, ta on, on your tableau. Every technology card. Which you have none. Which I have none. So you score two. Yes. So we'll move you up two here. Then we score victory points for every row or column that we're able to complete in our capital city. Currently, there's Which none is of part those. of the spatial puzzle, right? Okay. And then other than that, I don't think there's any other no. points. So we'll gain resources. I gain one uh, kind of wheat. I gain one worker. I gain two mushrooms. And I gain one star. I also gain one of these tiles and a single uh, tapestry card here. Question is, what do I want to do? Well, it seems pretty obvious that I'm gonna go ahead and spend two, no, I'm gonna spend one of my mushrooms and my little worker guy to move up here into this navigation spot. Uh, because I got here first, I get the lighthouse. You do. Thank you. I will figure out where to place this on my map in a short time, which, I'm not sure how much this is going to play into my game, so I'll have to be kind of strategic on that. Um, but I also get to draw a tile, and then I get to place some tiles. And this could actually matter. All right, so I'm going to place a map tile. I'm going to set this right here. This is going to gain me one, two, three, four victory points for the placement. Nice. So 18 up to 22. Mm -hmm. And then the star, what does that mean? You'll gain that resource. I gain the star resource. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's resolved that's my turn? turn? Yep. All right. So please bump me up the technology track. All right. I'm going to go ahead and Are pay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go ahead and pay two. I'm going to get another tapestry card. Yep. And I will be placing down another building. Okay. Uh, and I need to figure out where to place my lighthouse. Let's see. Does this take up four zones? It does. So, I think this spot down here makes makes a lot of sense. So, because I missed out on tech the first time, we're gonna go ahead and move up here. I'm gonna pay a resource, drop that down. And I think, what, is this, what does this end one here mean? And that means you'll get the bakery, which is this little guy. That's the bakery? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take this, stick it down here, get my tech tree, mm, get started. my tech tree growing. All right, that's my turn. Go ahead and up me up on tech as well. Going again? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm gonna again gain a building, and that now completes a uh, district. So every time you complete a full square, you're gonna get a resource. You're gonna get a free resource. Correct. That that seems convenient. Mm, I know, isn't it? Um, I'm going to. I think follow suit. Uh, I'm gonna pay two resources though, so I can move up and take a building. So I will take one of these and I get one of these tapestry cards and I'm going to go ahead and set this building down. I think we're gonna go right there. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay two to go up the technology track, okay. which now gives me the forge. Mm -hmm. which I'm going to place right here. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to allow me actually to delete everything in here, but I don't think I will. You're gonna leave them? Hmm. The irrigation system isn't a bad one for early game, so I'm kind of thinking about it, but I don't think either of us are really gonna explore a side track. So go ahead. Wipe them out? Yep, and then I'm gonna choose from whatever's there. One. Good choices. Two. Three. There you are. You have paper, air conditioning, and the treasury. Hand me paper. Paper? Yeah. We got to write what do you on think something. You, what do you think you are, a writer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> All right, my turn. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and continue moving forward over here on the tech tree. I'll spend one resource to move up one. I'm going to take another hut. I'm going to bring that hut over and place her down. Hmm. And you did that how? Because of this. Oh, got yep. it. 
So I'm actually gonna go up this track. Okay. I'm gonna use one of my workers and I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna place this here, which is gonna get me five. Thank you very much. See, slowly catching up little by little. Uh, uh, and I'm also gonna gain that resource. Thank you very much. Now I can pass with resources in my deck, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really think there's something worthwhile for me to do right now. Um, so I am going to pass this turn, which means I gain two resources. Yes. And then it's going to go to your turn. Yeah. If you want to resolve yours. Well, technically, like I, I feel that every time that anybody does their uh, their income phase, time, like time should stop until we should they do, do their income so phase. So resolve my income phase now. I would say okay. so. Okay. So I passed. I gained the two resources for that. I now have to activate a player character. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of those. I do my tapestry card. I'm avoiding win played cards because of your ability. I know. Um, I know. I'm going to play terraforming. You may construct buildings on impassable land in your capital city. Whenever you do, gain five victory points. What? So. Oh, that's, wow. That's where we are. Uh oh. I'm I then move in trouble. this up. That gives me four victory yes. points immediately. So let's go up here to 26. Uh, oh. I then gain everything that's on you. So. I gain two yellow cards. Two victory points. I gain two per yellow card. Two victory points per yellow card. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna gain two. I then gain one for every row and column. I have none. That's all the victory points. Two of these wheat, two of these mushrooms, one star, one, uh, one chubby man. And I believe that resolves the income phase. That is a lot of food you have for your, for your people. a lot of food. There are going to be chubby men and women if you keep. We're going to be very well fed. We're nomads. We need a lot. Like I've been watching, uh, like Brian Shaw, the the world's strongest man. Like his <laughs> YouTube videos are incredible, and it's like a video of like I've watched that full twelve minute video of him going to Costco and piling in bison meat into the cart. Is this the equivalent of you going to Costco? We're just like <laughs> grabbing all the wildlife. Can't get in here. Thematically. Thematically. We are. Very small ships packed with people the size of Brian Shaw sailing the seas. <laughs> if you want to visualize that, that's what I have in my mind. All right, I'm impressed that you can still float. That sounds very heavy. That's it's a very, very heavy ship. It's very tight and the boats are very <laughs> low in the water. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Um, I actually got a few things to do here. I oh, know you still sure. have some turns left. I do, I so do. So I'm speeding through this again. Which yes, you are. Might be bad. <gasps> Maybe, maybe. The war track is now open though, because I've passed this era. Mm-hmm. So just so you know. Hmm, this is interesting. That might be the best thing I can do right now. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Mm-hmm. Please move me up the technology track once more. I will do it. It has uh, this might be the wrong been mode. done. Okay. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, oh, uh, no, no, take me back. I'm not gonna do it yet. We're nope. winding. Nope. Okay. I definitely can't do that yet. We have rewound. And unlike, rewound? Unlike Is that the, a word? Probably. Are you sure? Might be. I don't know. Unlike the times- Your grammar guy says, your grammar guy says no. Unlike the times that I rewind, I'm gonna leave this one in the edit. Oh man. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? This is, it's a tough one. Um. I gotta keep stretching out my resources, so, hmm. I really need to take advantage of that. Uh, you don't need to. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's do you're it. You're moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're committing. So I'm committing to that. I'm going to get any one of those uh, pieces and I'm also gonna upgrade. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, and this actually, oh, I forgot about that. That's uh, that's smart. Good, good job, Jan. Good oh, job. You're impressive. You, 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 you'll understand soon. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a food down, mm -hmm. which immediately completes You're gonna one of my areas. Get a mm -hmm. food or get a thing back. I will be gaining a thing back. And let's see what else I can upgrade. So you said that if I go up the military track, you will gain the benefit as well? I won't now, no, because I'm past oh. the broker of peace. That is definitely what so I wish to do. we're still allies though. Oh, don't worry. I'm not, so I'm you not planning can't come on- come after me. Well, can't is a strong you word. Can't. Well, you literally can't. <laughs> Alliances are meant to be broken. It's against the terms of service. 
Alliances are meant to be broken. Not in this game. In Scythe, absolutely. In <laughs> this game, alliances are broken. Darn it, Jamie! <laughs> Why? Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna upgrade my paper. Remember that one? And uh -huh. I'm gonna get to place this building immediately uh -huh. somewhere else. And hmm, my spatial puzzle is becoming ever so more complicated. I'm gonna go ahead and place my building right here. No, right here? Right here. Okay. Done. Okay. After that, okay, so we've upgraded. Now I get to do. Well, actually, it's your turn now. You don't get to do still, anything. We're still going back and forth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's your turn. Yeah. All right, I am going to move forward here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna cost me one of these and one of these. Oh no. And I will spend another one to go ahead and do the, the bottom row. Oh no. I score for areas I control, right? Mm -hmm. It's at one point for area I control. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and score five points up here. So that brings me to 33. Mm -hmm. And then, Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these buildings. Mm. I'm gonna place this on my map this time, mm -hmm. instead of, uh, you know, instead of anywhere else. Me no likey. Let's see. I don't Me know. No I don't know the best place to set this one. It's going in a in a used zone anyway. But <sighs> it scores me five points. Ah. Uh, so 33 up to 38. Those are a lot of points at the beginning. Like at phase. What? Oh, okay. You're at age three. I'm at age three. Okay, I'm not as worried anymore. We're, you'll get there. <laughs> we're just no, a no, no. Bit this more, is good. You're doing good. We're a little bit more advanced than you. I'm gonna make you eat those words, boy. We will see. Go ahead and up. Well, actually, I think I can reach. Yes, I can. Okay. So I could either conquer and extend my turn potentially once more, mm -hmm. or gainy read a movie mm -hmm. like gone in the hand to make a decision. Hmm. Uh, it's my thinking pose. Hmm. Hmm. It's your Jesse remove this from the edit pose. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have to do that. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm going to get a conquer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a place down. I'm a place down a building. Okay. So I'm gonna use it for that. Your turn once more, All Mr. Right. Anderson. I am going to go ahead and move forward on this track. It's gonna cost me a food, another item, and another item. So I will get to place a hut, take a tile, and then place a tile. Wow. So I'm gonna place the hut. I bet you have guessed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and place them over here. Let's just pile them up there. Give me five victory points. Now my, my track is around to the point where you can reach it. And oh, let's figure man. out what makes the most sense. I kind of liked it better when it was over there. When it was far away. Oh yeah, yeah, much, I, much more so. I understand why. Mm. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the best best potential placement for me. So we're gonna score one, two, three, four, five victory points for that tile placement. Right there. Mm. And give me another five. Mm. And I'm gonna take another food for my lovely self. Mm. And uh, good sir, it's your turn. I'm not liking this. You know? This is kind of like crazy. Well, we'll see. Oh, gosh. You have to remember, I'm in era three. I am so far ahead of you mm. in the game right now. And here's the thing, Jan. I'm like a few moves away from being in era four. Like I'm sprinting to a low victory score. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. It, it, ugh, I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so I have to go into my income. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I just noticed that I should have activated I'm this. I'm so glad you're now getting to your third income phase. Yeah, I, I, I stretched as much as I could. I, I really did. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate my meritocracy once more. Yep. So when played, I can invent a card immediately. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab... So this is for currency. And then this is gonna be for what? For telephone? Hmm, that's a little bit... That's a little bit far off. Hmm. So let's go ahead and invent this. And now, I'm gonna gain two victory points for each of them. So, mm. that's eight points. 
Por favor. That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points, and I'm not done. Going up to 20. So after that, I get to place another tapestry card. Mm -hmm. Steam Tycoon, invent a face-up card and upgrade it immediately. So please. Mm -hmm. We'll cycle this. Invent and upgrade immediately. Please hand me the- I figure you're taking the yep. comm tower. Five points, por favor. All right, we'll cycle this. We'll go ahead and drop you five points, getting you up to 25 there. Mm -hmm. Then, let's see. Man, it's You also, by the way, get to invent. So part of this card oh, is I? your neighbor's right and then left, then each invent from the top of the deck. So it's gonna be blind. Oh, uh, okay. So I take and then I event. Oh, that's not bad. Take and this is gonna go. Invent is just at the bottom. Oh, it's just at yep. the bottom? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so after that, I now go into upgrading a card. Okay. So I'm not done. It is interesting. I'm showing off like the explore mechanics and you're showing off like your civilization, the upgrade tech, do your little like area control type of thing. I, I tend to really enjoy like going up the tech trees mm -hmm. for some reason. I kind of gravitate towards that strategy every time. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm doing it on purpose, but um, let's go ahead and get this guy up here. So get me more four more points. Okay, it's almost over to where you can reach it. Yeah, I will be reaching for it soon. I don't want to strain you too came much. Around the, you came around the corner there. <laughs> uh, and now I get to score points. So remember these? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, ten points. That's so a lot. 29, I move up to 39. So getting there, we're getting there. That's a lot of quick points. Yeah, I don't get anything from here. Mm -hmm. I don't get anything from here, but I will get two more points. One, two. Oh, look at that, not too mm -hmm. bad, not too shabby. Um, and now we finally get to move on to our income phase. Or so your I'm, income phase. Yeah, my my income phase. So I get three. Yep. I get two yep. fat boys. I get two food and I get two uh, culture, well, military power and I get one of each of these. I'm gonna go ahead and move up on the military track here. I'm gonna spend two resources in order to do so, which is going to give me one of these cards and it's going to give me one of my huts. This hut, I can either spread or I can go ahead and get another five victory points. What is the best thing for me to do? Excellent question. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and secure another five victory points. Mm. It doesn't seem like a bad, can you please uh, adjust my, mm. my token there? Okay, so let's go ahead and play a military power plus a chubby boy. Okay. You're so that we can gain this. And that is for, okay, so that's gonna be you. This is going to be placed right here and I gain another resource. Oh, yeah, I had planned for that. I'm gonna gain another star and that's gonna get me a chubby boy. And I am going to war. <gasps> oh no. So I have tipped. Tipped the scale. Mm, mm. So you're that's, going for that ten points, huh? Yeah, that's that's all I that's all I get to do there. Okay, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see now. So I've gone ahead and completed it. And I just realized that's actually not what I wanted to do. Oh well. I'm not tipping the scale. Chess rules, sir. I know, I know, but you hadn't started to go yet. The whole point for me going up that track was to get this open here. Mm -hmm. So I am getting this. And then I'm getting 10 points. Yeah. Or I'm getting five, five points. points. I looked down and I was like, oh, I didn't unlock the one thing I was going after. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's great. We're having fun. Yes. Everything's going okay. It's going exactly as planned. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. Let's counteract what you just did by going up this track, placing uh, this here. And I'm also gonna mm. gain a red building. I'm gonna place that red building right here. And now I get to roll the dice. Okay, yep. Ooh, some Either money. a food or some victory points. I'm gonna get some, some, well not Some food. money. Yeah, all right, my turn. I only have one 
one food thing left. I think I'm going to continue racing headlong through this game. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. I'm Please. passing. You're passing. I'm passing. Oh, God. I get three yes. resource. Ha <laughs> ha! I get three resources, and let's go ahead and resolve this. I have no current abilities. Mm -hmm. I have two tech up here. I get to upgrade one of them. No, so you're you're skipping the tapestry card. That's important. Oh, I can put down the tapestry card. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check what tapestry cards I have. Okay, so I'm gonna play Socialism. It's the best one I have available. Really? Choose an advancement track. Hmm. Advance or regress your choice to match the closest opponent. Do not get the benefits, but I'm just gonna skip over this. I'm gonna get up to there. Um, the other ones that I had in my hand just didn't, it didn't do anything hey, for me. Hey, dude, I'm all for it. You just, you follow your own trajectory. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with your choices. They just didn't do anything for me. Um, okay. That's, now I have to upgrade my tech. So I could either do, I could either move up and get a farm. Or I could do this military one, dynamite. I am going to move the dynamite up. Mm -hmm. which is going to allow me to do a military action. And you've, uh... Yep, I had a feeling that would be something you'd do, so I I prepared. Uh-huh. I don't like you preparing. Mm-hmm. Don't like mm -hmm. you. So I'm just going to do it back here. Okay. Move over there. I do get to roll the dice on that? Yes. Okay. Luck be a lady. So, so I can either get... Victory points for every area you control, or food. That food's nice, but six points. Yeah, six points is six points good. isn't isn't terrible at all. I'm I'm gonna go for the six points. Okay. So fifty-eight to sixty-four. Then I now get to go ahead and do my scoring. Yes. Right? So scoring on this, I get four points. Four points total. Can you move me up with that? I get four points for my farms. What, what, where were you, 64? 64, yeah. yeah okay. Mm -hmm. I get four more points for my farms, and I get six more points for my territories. Then I get to go ahead and start taking the currency. Yeah. So two of these money symbols, three of these food symbols. That's so ridiculous. Two of the star symbols, one of the little chubby man symbols, a card a tile, and I believe that's everything. I think we can oh, just a second, start... a second card. No, not a second card. Yeah, yeah. one card. I think we can just start calling these guys nomads. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're just nomads now. That's, that, that's what a, I it's will... It's a little mini Brian Shaw. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that'll that work. Dude, look at how much food you have. <laughs> like, leave some for the rest of us, man. My God. So we like no the, creatures we're, left. We like are this the entire nomads. area is barren. Why do you think we have to ex continue to explore? Jesus Christ. All we do is hunt. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor animals. You man. and your heralds with like this self-contained little like glorified structure. Where are the Viking hordes at your door? Mm -hmm. We're just like knocking. Oh wait, didn't I didn't I activate wait, I'm confused. Where am I? I don't know where you are. I just, I just made an income phase. You just did an income phase. Yeah, so this. I played, I played... I think you activated it. Oh, no, no, no. This is the first... I just yeah, started. you just played it. The, yeah. The, wow, I'm yeah. just in my... You're super far ahead of me. Oh. But I got Ooh. so much food. So it's it's now your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, for a second, I was lost, but I have found my way once I'm more. still sprinting through this game. <laughs> yes, you are. You gotta pace yourself, buddy. You gotta take it step by step. Hmm, and speaking of step-by-steps, uh -huh. let's go ahead and go up the military track. Okay. Quick second. Yep. And I will be paying that additional material, so I'm going to go down one, down a robust person, and then paying that additional to place this down right there. Mm hmm And I get a tapestry card. And mm -hmm. I get to place this. Okay. And hopefully, please, get nothing. Let it be what I need. Actually, you know, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Ha! Six I called it. or... Oh, that's what you needed? Yeah. Okay. Convenient. All right, my turn. 
we are going to go ahead and move right on up here. So I get two tiles. I get, I have to spend, what is it? One food and another resource. Or three food. Yeah. Uh, and then I get to place one of these tiles. Yes, you do. So let's see where I can score every single victory point possible. So I think this one matches the most. Set that here. Matches one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no. So it would be none here. Yep. One, one two, two, three, three four. No, none. each one of these little zones can no. match. Only only the, the, the edge of the tile. It's a, it's a, it's a what do you call those? A hexagon. So every side is what you'll score. Yeah, but so the you water and the wood score. Yeah, but it's separately. just a side. If only one of those, if only one of those terrains match, that's a single point. It's not per matching terrain. No, mm -mm. I thought it was per matching terrain. Mm -mm. All Although right. Well, you are making a beautiful little island over there. I kind of want to visit. So this scores the most. It scores me four, four victory points. Good. If you move that up for me, I that'd will. be fantastic. And I'll just Ooh, push my, four. I'll push my fat man up just a little bit. Metal uh, back to me. It is back <gasps> to you. Oh, gee golly. Okay, let's see. You're a lucky man. I am. I am a very lucky man. Hmm. I think what we want to do is we want to start going up again here. So I'm gonna pay two. Mm -hmm. So we go up here, and I'm gonna pay one more, so that we get that invent. Mm -hmm. And we are going ahead and invent. Lined. Oh, excellent. I love it. And we get to place one of these bad boys down. Which I'm gonna place. Ooh. That's tricky, cause something big's coming. Mm-hmm. I'll place this guy right here. And I gain points. So I have placed a total of four red buildings down into my capital city, so I'm gonna gain four points. So that's one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna multiply that by 50. No, I'm kidding. I don't think that's how that works. Is it my <laughs> turn? Yes. My turn, all right. Although things like that do happen from time to time on yeah. this one. So I'm gonna spend one food, two of another resource to go ahead and move up here. Uh, I'm going to get one of my houses out. You're gonna score four points for that. I'm gonna score four points for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I have four houses mm -hmm. out. And then the most important thing for you is gonna be that cash in. I don't think I'm gonna do the cash in. You're not gonna cash in any of your tiles? I don't think I'm gonna cash in any of my tiles. Okay, that's pretty insane. So let's see here. We'll just set that back there. Hmm. And I think, I think that's good for my turn. Wow. I'm honestly, Surprise at your decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and move over to a new phase. So I'm gonna pay two and one to move up right here. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna get me this. Oh, you never gave me the big clock building thing. Can I have that? What big clock building? Remember I went here. Oh, you do get a big clock building. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. And it is going to go ahead and complete a single thing, which means I would have been able to take an additional, I'll just stick a star back on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up there. Mm -hmm. And that means I'm gonna get this bad boy right here. Which doesn't fit anywhere on your map. It does fit, it just doesn't fit as <laughs> doesn't fit efficiently well. as I would have, have liked. that so much better. I, I could have, I could have, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. But it's fine, everything's going to be dandy. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove everything. Remove everything. Yeah, because I'm going to get to invent two cards now. Oh, yeah. You're really going powerful with this invention stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I like what you're doing. Wait until you see what comes next, buddy. So let's go ahead and take the eyeglasses and the clocks. Okay. There you are. Let me see if I really want clocks. Yes, I do really want clocks. Okay, your turn. My turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up here. Mm -hmm. Spend one food, two of another resource. That will give me two of these tiles. 
and allow me to place one down. Mm -hmm. The question is, once again, what fits the best on this map? Hmm. And where? Usually your best bet is water. So you want to kind of like try to get some good water. Like I have, I'm already just, uh, in three points there. Let's just do this here. Yeah, perfect. Three It'll points. It'll give me a food. It'll toss three points onto the board. And uh, that that's it. You're going to keep it there? You don't want another little tapestry card? I don't card? think I need the tapestry card. You don't need it? I'm not using them very much, and oh, okay. I'm already through my entire deck. So remember, I'm way ahead in the game than you are. That is true. Okay, so time for some civilization. Guess mm -hmm. what I'm going to do? Mm, you're going to use it? Yep, I'm going to go for my steam Oh, you cycled. You're now going to stage... Okay. Yeah, now I'm going to stage three. Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mm, no, I kind of want that. Uh, so that I... Hmm, and this is interesting. Because we do have... Do you have... No, no. Oh, no one has it. But I do have this. And that would give me another resource. Uh, so, oh, actually, it's invent a face-up card and upgraded. Uh, go ahead and hand me the anesthesia. Okay. So that's immediately upgraded. So I get to place this building down, which I will place right here, which will give me a resource of any color that I want. I'm going to place that one. Then... You get to invent from the top of the deck, so you get a you get a technology card. You get a technology. Everybody gets one. Just goes right here. Yeah. Okay. I got writing. I got hey. a library. So check this out. Hmm. Espionage. Copy the the ability of any tapestry card on an income mat. Mm -hmm. You know what that means. What does that mean? I get. I could choose one of two things. Mm-hmm. I can come back to my meritocracy mm -hmm. and gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen points. Or that's so powerful. Or I could copy your socialism mm -hmm. and bump myself up. You could. I don't know that that would do much for you. Well, I could potentially get all this stuff, but I will be getting eighteen points. You're gonna take the eighteen points. Yeah. I think you need it. I think you need it. So let's and see you here. know what? You know what's crazier is that I'm going to be able to copy that again. Sixty-six. Is yeah, that? yeah, not seventy-six. So right here. So you're at you're at forty-eight. So we're going up to sixty-six. Yeah. Okay. Maths. I wish I could have been over there. Maths is hard. But don't worry. Yep. There's more coming. Mm -mm. There's a lot more coming. No, I hope not. So because I still have more cubes down, I'm going to be able to activate this guy again because it's a win plate ability. Oh, that's like the worst win played for your... <laughs> that might be broken. I love this card. This is a great combo. It, are we going to vote broken? C -c 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 combo breaker. <laughs> are, are we going to vote that that's a broken card? This one? Yeah. No. You're, you're going like, to get so many points. But that's because I merged it with the Herald. I sense foul play. Well, I don't know. It's It seems like I'm going to win two games in a row. So, I don't, it, it might Let's be see. that I'm just is playing more Is it my turn? Are we on to no. my turn? No. I'm actually going to gain some points now and upgrade. So, let's see. Out of all these options, what does Jen want to do? Hmm. Let's go ahead and invent once more. So, you're totally off the off the camera on that far side. But oh, yeah, I know. But it's like, what else am I going to do? Yeah. So, let's go ahead and invent once more. Unfortunately, you guys can't see all the beautiful technologies I have out here, but it's a lot. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little guy right here. Right there. And now I'm gonna gain victory points. And one, two, three. So, every card is now worth three points. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty points. For dear old Jan. So that puts me up to 96. And for the first time this whole game, <laughs> you've passed me. <laughs> oh, but there's more. Um, I'm not going to gain anything by that. I'm not going to gain any points here. But I do have team sports two times revealed. So that's six points. So mm -hmm. that's one, two, three, four. Five, six. Five, six. Okay. Plus 10. 
Oh. Yes. And you just finished your second phase. That is very true. So I love this game. Okay. I like efficiency. Uh, and now I get some beautiful, beautiful income. Yeah. So I'm going to get four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to gain two nomads. Mm -hmm. I'm going to gain two food. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to gain four. One, two, three, four. Military power. I'm also going to gain a tapestry card. Oh, look at that, another one played. <laughs> and some more space to add to my hunting grounds. It is your turn, sir. I'm no longer feeling so <laughs> good about this. I don't know why. I am I'm potentially making over 40 points easy when I finish this round. Like, easy. I hate that. Easy. All right, I'm going to... Oh, gosh. So I'm just, I'm going to keep pressing forward. Okay, do it. I'm going to spend two food to move on to here. Uh, that's going to give me score on this, which is only one. Three points. Three points, is that it? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Get my three points. Uh, you really need to cash in these things I am going to cash them in now, which is oh, going to give me 20. Oh, so that's why you didn't do it before. It's going to give me 20. That's smart. So 92 up to... Uh, 112. 112. So tied <laughs> with you. But I'm Good. way farther in this game than you are. Right here? That's that's the turn. That's the turn? That's the well, turn. Well, no, you're forgetting. Oh, yeah. I get a... <sighs> You get a rocket. Although I'm not, I'm not doing too much over here, so it doesn't really. Uh... Ma, you can gain another resource if you plan it out correctly. It's not because remember these are on already like closed off mm. tiles, so this is not going to. Uh, it's not going to benefit me greatly. So. Okay. Ready. Mm-hmm. Ready for round two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna pay one money, and two military power, to go up here. To place my last building, which will now be located here. Yes. And I'm also gonna pay an additional material for this for this particular action too. So now I get to score five points. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And I get to upgrade once more. I'm gonna go ahead and get the treasury which is gonna get me this, which I'm gonna place here, which is gonna get me another material, which I'm gonna go ahead and do this with. Mm, my turn. Actually, I think I'm not, I didn't spend another, so I'm gonna go ahead and move that there. Yeah, your turn. We're going to space. <gasps> space, space, space. So space, I get to take space. three of these mm -hmm. and I get to play one. Yes. I have food, star, Eight points. Mm -hmm. I have science action and science points, which mm -hmm. we haven't touched. And I have this and this. I think food, star, and eight points. Yeah, 100%. Is be the, uh, food, star, eight points. We'll move this up to 20. That's going to get you some good. That's going to get you some we'll good just, stuff. We'll just set that there just to indicate that I've gone my nomads out to the stars. Somehow have set their boats up with like rockets on the side. So you're recreating Wally, -E, is what you're doing, because it's like these really no, chubby no, they people. Got, they got chubby. They got chubby in space. We're we're leaving Earth, chubby. Oh, that's a good point. So it's worse. It's worse. All right, <laughs> your turn. Okay, so let's keep going up my favorite track, shall we? So I'm gonna pay two plus one. Going up here. Yep. Okay. And you know what that means. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this and actually send you back over here. Okay. Yeah, it's an upgrade action. So one, two, one, two. Okay. So there, mm -hmm. I'm going to, yes, as you have well said, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. I'm gonna move this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and score everything that I have right now on my board. Mm -hmm. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 points, please. I'm at 17, I'm now at 127. 227. 127, we haven't made it to the 200 one hundred yet. 127. Yeah. I wish, I, the highest score I've seen up until now is 220 points and that's from 
My beautiful here's the, wife. Here's the bad thing, though. It the destroyed rule book, me. The rule book on Endgame has this little note at the bottom that says, yeah, 300 is a good score. Yeah, it's a great score. Good job. So anything below is that, like, oh, I'm, I'm so bad. And everyone we've played with so far. No one has even been close. Has hit, like, significantly And I, well. I feel like I'm being efficient, yeah, but apparently not. I'm not. Probably not. So now I'm going to gain the benefit of a circle in the middle row. Okay. And that's tricky. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and gain hmm, one of these little buildings right here. I'm going to gain one of these little buildings. I'm going to go ahead and place it somewhere. You're going to squeeze it in there somewhere? Mm hmm Oh, by the way. Hmm. Score me three more points, because no. I completed one, no, two, and three. I will not do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When did I gain this? This was, yeah, that was during my step, so yeah, yeah. Oh, isn't life great? Mm -mm. I, I, en I enjoy it. Nope. I enjoy the lives. Nope, I refuse. The lives are good. I like the lives. And that's it? Okay. I'm going to spend two food mm -hmm. to go up this track. That will give me 10 victory points for being the first to complete a track. Yes, sir. And give me that up there. I also get to place another space token. Yes, and we are sir. going to discover this. That puts me up the technology track once. Mm -hmm. and, and you gain the benefit. And I gain the benefit. Yes, you do. And scores this. Yeah. Okay. Is that really the best one you have? The other one's science. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the best one. <laughs> so go ahead and discard all those, except if you want to keep one. If I want to keep one. I, I can't do anything with it immediately, right? It just no, goes down here. but you will have one final turn to invent. So eh, it's, I'll, those discard them, yeah. I'll discard them all, and then I get to choose from the next stack. Mm -hmm. Is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay. Something good. Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... If I'm going for anything, I'm going for the canned food. Oh, yeah, of course. If we're going to space... You, you gotta keep the theme. If we're going to space, we're taking canned food yeah, with yeah. us. Uh, you could technically pay again to get zero points. Don't want to. How many points do I get for that, though? For what? For scoring science. Four. Can I please have four points? <laughs> yes, you may. I need every one I can get. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm curious where, where it's gonna end up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pay two. Spoiler alert. It's gonna end bad. To move up here, and I get this. This is, ooh, very nice. Do I wanna do this or this? Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Hey, oh. I like that. And I'm going to go ahead for, and... For a person that's on their, their last phase, I have to say, we're remarkably close in food out allocation. Like, I've done pretty well with my food on this last phase. You have, you have. Just throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not, you're not that far ahead of me. Unfortunately, this isn't a game about accumulating food. Okay, well. <laughs> so, right. just in case, all right, all right, to all right, clarify. All right, all right, good sir. Okay. <laughs> like, I've done one thing really well. One, two, the three, last four, game we five, played, six. I was the best self contained sieve. This game, I've been the most effective nomads I could be. Did it win me the game? Probably not. No. But I've been an excellent pair of you, nomads. You, you have, yes. Okay. Yes, you should feel. It's my turn, proud. Now, right? It's my turn. Yes. Are you done? Maybe. Are you done being braggadocious? I'm not being braggadocious. Being You're being braggadocious. braggadocious. All right. I've moved. I'm going to move up here. I'm, I spent all three. Mm -hmm. So I get to place a building, which I will place this one. Let's go ahead and just set it back there. Uh, I then get to upgrade a card, right? Mm hmm. That's how that works. So I think I'm going to upgrade this one. That can go there, right? Military two, we are in military two. Yep. I score all of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, please. Okay. That's not bad. Not too shabby. That's not One, bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I can do. <laughs> okay. Do you have so many more things to do? Yeah, I do. I, I have a few. <laughs> um. Oh, that is... Mm. Here's here's a quick note, though. I have already skyrocketed past where my score was last game. That is true. 
That is true, so you're improving. We're setting high scores here. Good job. This is a personal best. <laughs> what you care about is the fact that I've embarrassed you by making it to space first, which was the real point of this game. You may have gone into space with all your little food and canned food, but I got all the tech down here, buddy. Look, man, we invented canned food and blasted off. <laughs> That's all you need. We left with everything. We Where need. are you going? What is your trajectory? We clearly went there. There. We saw it. We didn't stop. You're just, just like a, are your spaceships just balls? You know, it's just like. No, they're, they're encapsulated boats. Encapsulated yeah. boats. I like that. Yeah. That's a cool, that's a cool image. They're sky boats. <laughs> sky boats. Uh, damn. <laughs> you want to know how we live? We took off? How? Oh, we dynamited. <laughs> <laughs> we invented canned food and dynamite. And that is how we made it to space first. I love it. I love it. I approve. Okay, so let's go ahead and have some fun here. Uh, I'm currently having fun. The game's nearly over for me. Oh yeah, it is. Actually, I don't think you can, oh, you can go up the space track one more time. I'm gonna go up the science track. <laughs> yes, he, one the more science time. track one more little the time. The very first time. Just once. It's good. Hey, it, something, something. I'll get to roll that dice. You will get to roll that dice, Which baby. could have big results. It could have potentially big results. It'll have no right. results. It probably won't. Yeah. But you're fine. Okay. So I I think there's something efficient I can do, but I don't want to because I feel this is going to be more fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and pay three. So that's one, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, to move this guy over here, mm -hmm. which is going to get me, I think, this building. Yes. I'm gonna place this building right here, which immediately fills everything I need. Interesting. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. And so I'm gonna go ahead and topple. You're going to war. Yes. And because I toppled successfully, I get to score both results of the dice. Do you for toppling? For that particular topple, I will. For that one. Yes. Low numbers. Low numbers. Okay, so, oh, you man. Get, you get, this is horrible. You get nothing. No! You get nothing because that's the center tile. And, and then, I get four points. And then you get four points, but you actually score the five for going to the middle. I do. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Not, not horrible. I really did want some, some oh, something you. there. My turn? Yeah. My turn. I'm going to do my very last action. Mm which is to move up the science track. Oh, when unexpected. You, when you move up the science track, you get to roll the science die. You do. Which gives me a military, mm. which lets me move up one there, but mm. I don't get to score the you results don't. of it. So it was very, it was sort of, um, now I'm gonna, now the game's over for me. It is. I've passed. Yes. I'm gonna wait for you to finish your turns. And we'll do it together. And we'll do it together. Okay, so. <laughs> now, if we had other people that were playing, it would continue without me until everyone yeah. got to a point of passing. Cause yeah, it's, yeah. Because it's one, because it, it's one v one. You now just get to, get to do all your turns. Mm -hmm. I can score though passively. So if you do something that scores for me, oh yeah, of course, I can do that. Yeah. Uh, so spending two, three. Spending three. Okay, spending three. Moving up again. Are you toppling another one? I thought you might. You scurvy dog. <laughs> I take off with my canned food and my dynamite to space and you see the opportunity to swing in and take my towns. I did. I did see the opportunity. That's all right. We only left the women and children behind. That is horrible. So you're a horrible person. Yeah, no. You <laughs> should feel terrible for what you've done. Hey. <laughs> hey. You, you're, a, you're a monster. <laughs> You guys have overpopulated with all your food. We took off. We left. You're a monster, sir. We a left. Monster? We left the women and children Could behind. Could you explain what a monster is? It's a monster. A monster? To I mean, if you pronounce the way that I mispronounce it correctly, then we would be able to go somewhere <laughs> with this. It, sir, is the most adorable way of saying monster. It's a monster. So you know what I think we should do? What's that? We should probably score. Score your ten points for toppling. I already did. Oh, did you already give yourself yes. that? But we should continue scoring. We're we're done, right? 
Well, let's go through the phases. So first, your nomads. I think they get some points for, for everything they've done, correct? Uh, no. No? Okay. No, we don't we don't get points for the board. We just continue to score points for things that we've placed. Okay. So so you're not going to get anything in your civilization. So let's go through you first, and uh -huh. then we'll go through me. So you don't get to score anything in your civilization. I don't. We're skipping tapestry cards. I don't cards. get to play a tapestry card. We're now going to scoring. I can so. move up a tech, tech card. Yes, you can. And you should. Um, I think the only one that I can move up that's worth anything would be that. Really? You can't go up this one? The four wouldn't wouldn't do anything for me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, would be, mm -hmm. that would be three. Yep. So move me three. One, two, three. Then I score my board, right? Yes, you will. Okay. So I score eight points total for my, my technology. I score 17, 18, 19, 21. 20, 21 points for my farms. So you're at 53 right now. Okay. So that would put you at 74. 74. I score one for each of my spaces, which is now one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, and I have no completed rows or columns. You so I don't do score any of those. So that's, I believe that's end scoring for me, right? Yes, 180 points. That's surprisingly lower than where I thought <laughs> I would be. <laughs> oh man, you're, you're lucky I didn't get to reveal more of these little gray buildings. Okay, so, you ready? No. Let's do this. I'm not. So I'm gonna activate the Heralds. I said I wasn't ready. I'm gonna copy the ability of any face-up tile through, in the you? income map. Just like you did to those women and children. <laughs> hey, You're it's, what, it's what we do. You're a terrible person. I'm gonna go ahead and invent. This game's revealed so much about you. I'm gonna go ahead and invent, and yep. I think I'm inventing. And me, one of those, yep. Oh, baby, put yes. It, put it people can see it. Oh, like so here. this was the most amazing card I could get right now because the assembly line allows me to gain the square benefit of one tech card in your top row. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. So check what's gonna happen. So you saw the assembly line. I'm gonna bring go ahead over the, bring over the cards you're referencing because it's okay. a little bit off camera. So so for everyone that hasn't been able to take a look at all my technology, this cards, is your top row currently. That's my top row. Yep. This is my middle row. Yep. And this is my where was bottom I? Do you, row. Do you remember? Was I like 81? 80. 80 yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Damn. So I get to upgrade this immediately. I think I was at 81. You were at 80. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you were at 80. One point. So because I upgraded this, I now get to activate any of my square effects on my top row. And can you guess which one I'm activating? I'm activating this guy. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11! Did that count this right? Yes, yes I did. 11 points. So that puts me up at 166. First. Now... <laughs> I'm gonna gain two points for everything I just said. You're enjoying this so much. So that's gonna be 22 points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that put me that puts me at 190. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just that you're you're, you're so, in so much pain. No, I'm fine. You're fine. I'm okay. fine. Okay, good. Yeah. It's important for me that you fi you're fine. You're fired though. Oh, I am? Oh, no. That's horrible. Okay, so... <laughs> Introduced and fired on the same video. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse you, sir. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to upgrade... Because you got to so far ahead, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this guy that lets me activate anything in my middle row. So I'm going to gain five more points. Boop. Okay. So five points there. And now... And now... We get to score everything again, but this time triple. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm actually going to get 33 points. So nine is going to go to 228, mm -hmm. right? Isn't that correct? Yeah. All right there, baby. And this is just a start. And then I'm gonna gain 10 more points. So, oh, 28. 10 more points, I'm at uh, 238. From 238, and this is what I was saying before, can you see my board? 
Yeah, it's really it's stacked. I actually filled a few. It's stacked. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Times two. No. <laughs> That's 18, 18 points. More? Yeah, so at 38, 48 plus eight again. So that's gonna put me at 56. It is kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't get anything from food, Good. but I will be gaining from this. So that's one, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. times two. Mm -hmm. That puts me at 266. Mm -hmm. And finally, plus 10 more points. I finished the game at 276. So you destroyed me. Yes. But just for a little bit of like satisfaction on my part, the rule book does have that lovely little note at the end game scoring area that says 300 is a good score. Hey, sir. So while this is the best score you've ever seen. Yes. Jamie is still in his rule book. Things are mediocre. <sighs> I'm so sad. But still, I am improving. Every single game I played, that's I've true. gotten higher. That so true. that's that's good because it shows, it demonstrates that if it's a game that you play often, you probably mm -hmm. will start it's, getting it's certainly better strategies. strategies. So we're getting to the final thoughts section of mm -hmm. this. We, we just completed Tapestry for those that have skipped to the final thoughts portion of the video. Me! Hey, nice. Thanks for joining us. Uh, <laughs> this is the final thoughts section Stop of- Stop it! I know, it's being ridiculous. <laughs> but, but genuinely, like, what's your, what's your impressions of this game? This is the second time I've played it. Um, I enjoyed this playthrough significantly more than the first, and I think I will enjoy another playthrough more than the- and it's because the first time you play, you're learning what scores where. Mm -hmm. And even even here, I was playing on tracks that I was a little bit more familiar with. So like, this game does reward people who have figured out what starts chaining, what creates scoring, like what creates scoring or point salad, you know, connections that allow you to do what you've done. You know, layering your scoring, having cards that you're able to re-engage with and like just rack up points. Mm -hmm. So I have, so first of all, for those of you who can't tell, I enjoy this game a lot, mm -hmm. yep. a lot. But that doesn't mean that I don't have my fair share of criticisms for some of the elements I've seen. Sure. But it doesn't take away from my enjoyment. I think this is a really solid, abstract, heavily themed game, mm -hmm. which I personally do not have in my collection. Like the closest abstract, and and in the using the term abstract loosely, is um, t uh, Tyler Sigsman's Crows, which is an excellent game, by the way, but that's my only abstract. This is now going to become like that heavy, heavier abstract that I'm going to be able to play, etc. I don't even see it as aggressively heavy, though. That's the weird oh, thing Oh, no, for exactly. Me, it is like, compared to some of the other games that fit this type of, like, area, it it's not quite as low as Wingspan, but it's a Wingspan-esque level of game for me. Like, I'd put it on the shelf next to that category, even though it has way more way more decisions and, and potential, like, player stagnation than I think Wingspan, its counterpart, does. And honestly, I've personally never played a full Civ game sure. myself. Sure. But based on what I've heard and what I know about Civ games, this is my preferred method. Yeah, and, and see, I come from the other side where, like, I, I do love diving into those heavier Civ games. Um, and so this is really nice, but this is in some ways light. Mm -hmm. even, oh, yeah. 100%. Even though I did bad on it, it is compared. You did fine. You know what I mean, though. It is compared to some of those other things that I play significantly lighter than average. Yeah, and, so, and I wanted to touch on this point before. Um, so this game does reward heavily players that play again and again but that might create some formulaic strategies mm -hmm. where I have a civilization, I just made 276 points with the Heralds. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to be inclined to play very similar to that while making some very minute changes. Yeah, you're gonna be adjust, I mean, cause you played well with them and it really wouldn't make sense for you to go on the science track if you were with the Heralds again. Like we said at the beginning, they set you a course and your job is to like, perfect and tweak the course that they've set you on. 
Now there's a lot of different civs to play as. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of variation when it comes to which asymmetric path you're playing. But I do think you're at a, at a, eventually, I do think you're just tweaking a path. And and to that point as well, sure, there's 16 different civilizations, but just on reading it, I haven't played them all. Mm -hmm. I've only played a few. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> I've only played a few. Sure. But they don't seem like they would be this powerful. Like, I've seen some civilizations that strictly cater to giving resources, and resources in particular junctures of the games are huge because they extend your turn, etc. But if they're not generating you points for the mm -hmm. end of the game, you might feel like you were left out. So, I mean, that's so that's an element that, you know, and we're, we're kind of diving into the criticism we have because I think we both genuinely like this game. Oh, so, yeah, so like I natural, said, I, I adore the it. The natural obviously. response has been to go to, like, let's talk about some of the, some mm -hmm. of the things we're challenged with. And I feel the same way I feel I felt after the first game of the like the first time we played. I would like to play again. I think I could do better than I did the first time. You know, the second, the third, the fourth. And I still feel like I kind of played my own game, interacted with you a tiny bit, but really I feel like I played my own game, and I'm not sure if your points were due to you being better at the game or you being better on the path you were on, or like it's it's this weird dynamic where I don't I don't feel like I lost to you. I just I just feel like I need to work on this structure a little bit more. So so we've talked about this before. Yeah. I don't agree with that opinion. It's just the way I feel. No 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 of course. Yeah. But you have to take into consideration that I've played this game multiple times now and every time it's I've gotten, you know, it's it's improved. Mm -hmm. So that to me that implies that experience in the game is going to lead to better scores. Just because yes. you have an inkling and an understanding of how things go. And yes, to a point there is, and this is part of the criticism, right? There is a certain on the rails situation. But for example, Hearthstone mm -hmm. is a game I love because you're given something that you have to follow and you have to interpret as you play. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really like about this game is that you have to adapt. Mm -hmm. And I am all for adaptation in games because they challenge you. Yeah. With that being said, another thing that I could potentially see this happening is that players that love this game, they're going to be super excited to present it to other people. Mm -hmm. But they're going to trash them. They're going to destroy. Yeah. This is, I mean, people. This is this is a game that, like, I mean, that's a that's a really good point. If you're if you're the person like Jan, and you're gonna have to be aware of this, that loves this game and wants to introduce it to your gaming group, to your friends, to your family, because I feel like this could be introduced to a lot of people, you're gonna have you're gonna have to do some hand holding and you're don't play to win. Please, the first time you introduce this Handicap. to someone, handicap. <laughs> yeah, do not do not play to win. Hold yourself back a little bit because you've gotta have them come back. This game is going to reward players that come back for a second and third and fourth playthrough. And if you're the type of person that wants to sit down and teach someone a game and then beat them at the game you just taught them, you're going to be able to do that with this game and they're not going to want to come back. And and the thing is that that creates a little bit of a dichotomy because you want to bring people in, but at the same time you're excluding yourself from having for the, the first fun game. for the first game. Sure, yeah. right? But with that being said as well, yeah. there are instances that some players might immediately take to the game. Sure. For example, you know, my... But you know who those players are. If yeah, yeah. Game well, actually, sure. actually. So when I played with my wife, she... she, This is not the type of game that she, we usually mm -hmm. play together. But oh my god, she did 220 points in her first mm -hmm. game. And I made, I think it was like 130? Mm-hmm. It was crazy. Yeah. So so people can surprise you for sure, especially if they're able to intuit how to play their faction into their strengths. Yeah, I, but I, I still think this game, more than others that I am aware of, lends itself to trashing the people that you taught. Yes. Because yes. it rewards multiple plays. Yes. So, you know, while you're right, some people can just grab onto the strategy and get, and get the game and kind of walk through it because it's not overly complex. You gotta be aware of that opportunity as a teacher because that is, that's, as the teacher, that's your responsibility to facil facilitate not only like a good game environment, but a fun game environment. Mm -hmm. And this one, I think, could lead to a unfun game environment. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, like I don't like, 
I hate it when I'm playing a game for the first time and I am completely crushed at it, which is what happens when I play with you often. But it, it just, it makes me feel like I was either incompetent during my yeah. playthrough or that I just didn't get it. Yeah. And that's sad because sometimes you really enjoy a and game. That's, that's not the case with this. Like exactly. we said, it just, it's a game that rewards experience. Mm -hmm. So real quick, let's kind of wrap wrap this up, I think. Pull it, pull it to a nice bow. What is your favorite and least favorite thing uh, about this game so far, as it stands. Yeah, so one of my favorite things is the interweaving of different uh, stratagems as you're playing through. I love it when you get to a point in your engine where you're just like, ba, 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 mm -hmm. ba, activating things here left and right. That feels fantastic. As you saw, that little technology thing that I did, that felt great. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that technology trick is, you know, overpowered or whatever, but it, it felt great for me mm -hmm. as I was doing it. Um, things that I'm not 100% favorite, least favorite. Yeah, so things that I'm not 100% still very keen on is I feel that the capital city map is super interesting and I like mm -hmm. it, but I feel I, I, I would love for it to have a little bit more weight in the game. Okay. Like if, if getting a resource, that's great. Yeah. Getting a point here and there, that's good too. But getting to this point where I made 18 points at the very end, I feel that could have probably started a little bit earlier. So, so you think either potentially more points, or one of our other friends suggested like even more asymmetric variation on them, where like you're unlocking resources or goals depending on what you have. I I do think like probably maybe in an expansion or something that this could get a little bit more There's weight. room to customize that. I do, I do believe so. Like okay. I've heard the critique basically everywhere. Mm. I do like that it exists. And I do like what Jamie did with the creation of a city. Like for example, I'm not sure if we can see this very well in the camera, but this, this is a really nice piece. You know, you start getting a sensibility of what, like, what this country might look like, mm -hmm. and that's fantastic. And I think that's what he set out to achieve. And I think it does it. Mm-hmm. But it's just, it's missing it's that... As, it's not as deep as what you might... As some of the other parts of the game. Exactly. So, for me, favorite, least favorite mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, gonna be a little bit different than you because of the way that I approach games. This game, surprisingly enough, is really thematic for me. In a, in a way I didn't expect from the stuff I'd watched, the abstracts, the stuff that he's done with like just the artwork throughout this, the way that your sieves build up, um, even these little city tokens that you can see develop. And honestly, even the way we expand and move across the landscape here, for me, it drives an image for the entire game. Yeah. And everything I do, the way I learn, the way I learn and play games is through the theme and the storyline. I learn rules by cataloging them in kind of a story or a narrative that I'm telling. This game was easy for me to learn and easy for me to pick up because everything fits into a slot that I'm already familiar with. I understand city development, I understand civ development, and there's a storyline I can attach to everything I'm doing, which you heard me talk about throughout the course of this It's game. pretty fun. That's that's what I do Nomads. as I play. Forever, exactly. okay? Exactly. Forever. <laughs> My least favorite thing. I would like to see more interaction as a Civ game. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this is a abstract, it's an abstract puzzle that for me is a very solo experience. And like I said, when it comes to the win conditions, I don't put any weight on where those numbers are because I'm honestly, every time I go back to this game, I'm playing against the score I had last time. I'm playing against myself which is good, and it's fun to have a solo experience with other people around the table. But to a large part, I feel like this is the area that could be a little bit more interesting. I want more cards that interact with this map. I want more expansion opportunities. I want like more warfare. I want it to maybe lean on that Civ side a little bit heavier and, and not quite on that solo abstract side. Now, usually what happens is what I'm describing is a different game, Yeah, which is fine. You know, and it's not this game and that's fine. It's just what I would personally envision. So probably my least favorite part is that it feels like a solo experience to me. Yeah, like a solid, like a multiplayer solitaire. Yeah. Yeah, which doesn't fit into the line of civs, which it's advertised as. So I, I think that's a good place to wrap up this video. Oh yeah, um, I, I would say so. Should people add tapestry to their to their shelves? Hey, if everything we talked about <laughs> seemed like it gravitated with you, I think that's a fair. If they've I watched to this point, they not only know whether or not they want to add this game to their gaming shelf, 
but they also know that they should subscribe to this video. I mean, like we've done, we've done beautiful B-roll. We've, uh, we've filmed a whole gameplay. We had a, I mean, I had to spend time with this guy. I know it's horrible. He got introduced and fired in a single video. I know it's been great to getting to know you guys. Yeah, it's, it's been, been wonderful. Good to have him around for a little while. Yeah, well, I'll, I guess I'll see you never, right? <laughs> in, in all seriousness, guys, um, we really do appreciate you being here. We appreciate everyone that like leaves comments on all the videos, engages with us. Um, Thanks so much for subscribing, hitting the bell, leaving a comment. Um, we're trying to build this channel in a way that fits not only what we would wanna watch, um, but also whatever kind of the growing audience wants to watch. So um, stick around. If you like what we're doing, we're gonna be around for, for quite a while. Um, so we appreciate you being here. Whatever you do though, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.